All new at 11, it's been more than a month since the Mount Holly community lost officer Tyler Herndon. The 25 year old was shot in the line of duty. Tonight we're hearing from a woman who says she was stopped by officer Herndon just weeks before his death. She remembers their interaction as one that forever changed her perspective about law enforcement for the better. New tonight, our Brianna Harper shares her story and the lasting impact officer Herndon continues to carry. December 11th, 2020, Mount Holly police officer Tyler Herndon responded to an early morning break in call, but the 25 year old had no idea it would be his last after police say he was shot and killed by the suspect. It didn't just hurt the family, it hurt the community, it hurt others, it really hurt me. Mount Holly resident Kendra Hunter says she was heartbroken by the news, but she also almost immediately flashed back to a month prior when she encountered officer Herndon during a traffic stop. He had reason to believe her car was stolen and the inspection tag expired. But Hunter says she had hesitations of her own after seeing her cousin recently die while in the custody of Charlotte Mecklenburg police. I kind of lost my respect for him. She explained she didn't feel comfortable rolling her window down and Officer Herndon was more than understanding. And he was like, oh, no problem. Uh, I'll just stand back. You don't have to roll your window down right now. She also further explained her policing concerns, and that's when the two had a bit of a heart to heart. So by that time, I opened up and he was like, look, ma'am, I'm not going to hurt you. My deepest condolences is about your cousin. He showed me that our officer is not the same. It's not about racism. To him, all lives matter. After proving she was, in fact, the car owner, Officer Herndon let Hunter go with a simple citation. But when she went to court today, she got an unexpected surprise. She was like, you don't owe no fine. And um, she was like, your, your case been dismissed. It seems other officers were assigned to handle Officer Herndon's open cases, but hers was different. Angel sent. And I'm like, he look, he think about me today. <laughs> she says, even in death, Officer Herndon's light will forever shine. I actually got a blue light in honor of him on my porch. I still honor him and my light gonna stay on forever. Brianna Harper reporting, WCNC, Charlotte.